Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss a numerical on stability of an automobile. So in this question we are given that the weight is 2.2 tons, the wheel base is B 2.4 meter, track width W is 1.4 meter, the center of mass of the car lies at 0.6 meter above the ground and 1.4 meter from the rear axle. The equivalent mass of engine parts is 140 kilogram and radius of gyration is 150 mm. The back axle ratio is 5. Engine shaft and flywheel they rotate clockwise when viewed from the front. So the direction of rotation of the wheels and the direction of rotation of the rotating parts of the engine they both are same. So the diameter of wheels is given which is 0.8 meter so radius will be 0.4 meter. Moment of inertia of wheels is given which is 0.7 kilogram meter square. We have to determine the load distribution on the wheels when car is taking a round on a curve of 100 meter radius which is capital R at the speed of 72 km per hour denoted by a V when the turn is to the left or to the right. So for both the conditions we have to solve. Now in earlier videos only we have discussed that to ensure the stability of the vehicle the reaction due to weight should be greater than or equal to reaction due to the gyroscopic couple on inner wheels plus reaction due to centrifugal couple on inner wheels. Now the condition for left and right in both the cases the values of the reactions remain same. What changes is the direction. Let's assume that if this is a four vehicle, four wheeler and if it is taking a left turn, so these wheels are the inner wheels and these will be the outer wheels, right? And if it is taking a right turn, these wheels become the inner wheels and these becomes the outer wheel. So the condition is always for the inner wheels, right? So firstly, we have written all the given data. Mass of the vehicle, capital M. Mass of the engine rotating parts, small m. Radius of wheel, which is capital R. Track width, W, which is the distance between the center of the wheels on the same axle, right? Capital R is the radius of curvature. If we are saying that this vehicle is taking a turn, right, a left end, so it is about certain track and the radius of curvature of the track is capital R. Right, I omega, which is the moment of inertia of the wheels and K is the radius of gyration. V is the velocity or the speed, basically the linear speed with which the vehicle is moving forward and it is given as 72 kilometers per hour because we are using the SI system of units so we convert it into meter per second. So first case we are talking about the left turn so the reaction due to weight we have to calculate which is the first part. Now weight of the body is mg right now the question says that the center of mass of the body is at a point which is at a distance of 1.4 meter from the rear axle, right? That means the weight is not equally distributed on four wheels. Had it not been given, we would have assumed that center of mass is lying at the center and for all the four wheels, the reaction would have been mg by 4. But in this case, we are given that the center of mass is lying at a certain distance on a wheel base. What is this wheel base? It is B, which is 2.4 meter. So wheel base is basically the distance between the two wheels. That means the front and the rear wheels. Or you can also say that this is the distance between the front axle and the rear axle. Right. So if the distance of center of mass from the rear is 1.4 from the front wheels, it will be 1 meter. Right. So we have to find how this weight is distributed on front and rear wheels. So there are two front wheels, 1 and 2. We have to find the reaction. So mg by 2 into the ratio of this weight distributed on the basis of distance. So total distance is 2.4, which is B and which 
I mean, how much ratio of this 2.4 is lying at the front wheels? It is 1.4. So, we'll get the value of the reaction on the front wheels. Now, similarly, we'll do it for the rear wheels. The ratio of weight that is lying on the rear wheels is 1 upon 2.4, which is B. B is 2.4. So, we place the values and we get the value of the reaction due to the reaction on the rear wheels. Now, we know that weight is always acting downward. Therefore, the reaction of ground because of the weight will be in the upward direction on all the four wheels. So, this will be in the upward directions, right? Now, the second component, yes, the second component that we are talking about is the reaction due to gyroscopic couple. Now, what is the formula for gyroscopic couple? It is I omega omega P, right? So, R is what the moment of inertia. Now, when we are talking about gyroscopic couple, we are talking about two components. One is the couple because of the rotating wheel and another one is the couple because of the rotating engine parts. So, when we are talking about wheel, we use the moment of inertia of wheel. And because there are four wheels, so we multiply the whole factor by four. Omega is the angular velocity of wheel. So, this will be V upon small r, which is the radius of wheel. And omega p is the angular velocity of precision. So, it will be V upon radius of curvature. So, we all the values are given. We put the values and we get the answer for the reaction on wheels due to the gyroscopic couple. Now, to find the direction of this gyroscopic couple, we have to form the velocity, sorry, we have to draw the vector diagram. Now, in the question, it is given that the viewer is at the front and the system is moving in the clockwise direction. So, by using the right hand screw rule, where the curling of fingers show the clockwise or the anti-clockwise direction and the direction of thumb shows the direction of the vector. So, when we do, when we apply this right hand screw rule, we say that initially the position of the vector, the velocity, initial velocity is the vector OC. Now, when the vehicle is taking a left turn, so the new position of uh, this vehicle will be something like this. So, these are the four wheels, right? And the viewer is here. Now, in this position, again, if the, if the wheels were rotating clockwise in this position, after taking the turn also, it is rotating clockwise only, right? Because V is same. So, when it is taking the clockwise turn, now when we apply the right-hand screw rule, you will find that the position of the vector of velocity changes to a new position, which is OD, right? So, CD is what? CD is the change in the angular velocity. Plus, this also shows the change in angular acceleration and it also shows the active gyroscopic couple. So, the reactive gyroscopic couple is C D dash C dash. And by applying the right hand screw rule, we find that this C dash D dash is in counterclockwise direction. Right? This is the reaction. So, because this is in the counterclockwise direction, this is in the counterclockwise direction it will tend to like the reaction on the inner wheels will be in the downward direction and the reaction on the outer wheels will be in the upward direction right this is what this means counterclockwise direction means if the force is being applied and we see from the side view we'll see that it will tend to like uh, the reaction will be in the upward direction for the outer wheels and in the downward direction for the inner wheels. Now, the another rotating part of the system is the engine, the rotating part. So, we have to find the moment of inertia for the engine, i.e. which is mk square. Mass of the engine parts is given, which is 140 kilogram. K is given radius of gyration, that is 0.15 meters. So, we put the value and we get IE. Now, the uh, gyroscopic couple, because of this 
engine rotating parts is again i omega omega p where i is the moment of inertia for the engine rotating part so we are denoting it by i e omega is the angular velocity of engine rotating parts which is omega e and omega p now there is one more term gear ratio which is omega e angular velocity of engine rotating parts upon angular velocity of the wheel so we replace omega e with this term that is g into omega w so the formula is i e g omega w into omega p now we know what is i e gear ratio g is given omega w is known omega p is v upon radius of curvature we put the value and we get the answer for the gyroscopic couple due to engine rotating parts now we have to calculate the magnitude and the direction of the gyroscopic couple because of the engine rotating parts right now see because the mass is not equally distributed in this system therefore while calculating the magnitude of this gyroscopic couple due to rotating parts because rotating parts has a component of mass it will be ce upon distance d this the perpendicular distance which is twice of b because there are two wheels so it will be 2 of b and we'll get the magnitude now how to find the direction in this case because b is the perpendicular distance so let's assume that viewer is here viewer is along this axis right and we know that the direction of rotation of the engine parts is clockwise right so from here if i see so this is the clockwise direction so the reaction will be in the opposite direction which is the anti clockwise direction so this anti clockwise force will produce the downward direction right so this will be like this so it will produce a downward direction when we see from the top view so counter clock uh, this downward direction on the rear wheels and the upward reaction on the both the front wheels and the magnitude of course remains the same so the next component that we have to find out is the reaction due to centrifugal couple now what is centrifugal force it is mr omega p square and omega p is v upon radius of curvature so the formula for couple is force into perpendicular distance now let's assume if these are two wheels and g is the center of mass so distance between the center of mass and the ground is h and the centrifugal force it acts along this point center of mass in the outward direction so fc into h this gives us the value of couple all the values are known we put the values and we get the answer now this centrifugal force it produces a couple in the clockwise direction so the reaction will be in the counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction means the upward direction upward uh, reaction on the outer wheels and the downward reaction on the inner wheels and the magnitude will be cw upon 2w w is what the track width we know already know the value and we'll put the values and get the answer now what we have to do we have to find the values of the reaction total reaction on all the four wheels 1 2 3 and 4 so we have named it like this 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 these are the inner wheels for left turn and these are the outer wheels 1 and 2 are the front wheels and 3 and 4 are the rear wheels we have already calculated the directions and the magnitudes right so the total reaction will be sum of all the four reactions which is the reaction due to weight reaction due to the rotating wheel the gyroscopic reaction because of the wheel gyroscopic reaction because of the engine rotating parts and the reaction because of the centrifugal force we know the values we know the directions we put the values and we get the answer now when we talk about the right turn 
what happens the reaction on wheels because of the weight it remains the same it will always be in the upward direction what changes is the direction of the other reactions why because when left turn while taking the left turn these were the inner wheels 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 were the outer wheels while going this way so when we'll go the opposite way what will happen the inner and outer wheels they will change so the direction of inner and outer wheels will change accordingly right so as we have done for the left turn in the same way we can draw the vector diagram and we can find the direction of all the uh, reactions and we can solve the question magnitude remains the same right what I told you that the reaction the direction of the reaction changes for the gyroscopic couple and for the centrifugal couple because the position of inner and outer wheel changes thank you